Hi there, how's it? We're in the next part. Uh, I was speaking fast, so now that I'm in the next part, I'm going to like pace myself. I was speaking about Lot in Sodom. Remember the petition by Abraham to God, how it is that he was like, if there are 30 men, if there are 20, what is the number? What are the numbers? You go and tell me, right? I'm, of course, paraphrasing, likely butchering scripture as I go along. But if the Lord was prepared to spare all of Sodom, all of it, guys, all of that heinous city full of all of these miscreants and derelicts, if he was prepared to rescue all of it for just 50 men out of tens of thousands of others that were wreaking havoc or maybe even hundreds of thousands of others that were wreaking havoc in the heart of God, if he was happy to rescue that whole city and allow his heart to be grieved from the sins of a hundred thousand sodomites because of 50 Sodom uh, people who were living in sodomy, in, in Sodom, sorry, not sodomy, in Sodom. If the Lord, on behalf of 150,000 sodomites, he rescued all of that 154 on behalf of just 50 sodomites. And please do not use the word sodomites to understand it in the dictionary term. I'm speaking about it as in the city itself. If you live in Sodom, you are a sodomite. Not so much the, you know, sexual indiscretion. Anyway, yeah. If God was prepared to rescue 50 sodomites on behalf of... So if he was prepared to rescue 150,000 sodomites, let's take a figure, thumb suck it, on behalf of just 50 sodomites that were worth the while for him to stay his hand of wrath, how much more then will the Lord stay his hand of wrath from afflicting with judgment people that, albeit not yet being in Christ, not saved, are rational and sober enough for the earth to continue to be a going concern that does not grate or berate God to a point of utter destruction. There are, I believe, currently, enough people that are pushing back against wicked agendas of the world for the Lord to stay his hand. And just on that observation alone, I as eschatologically minded as I am, am also kind of desirous of some kind of a semblance of a normal life to get a future lest I should have another 30 years here on the earth. That was the ecto-life disaster. The ecto-life disaster, when I look at it, it has 50 sodomites that are sober, sufficient enough for God to rescue the earth. People that are like, this is nonsense, it needs to stop. And it's not just Christians. Like I said, Candace Owens is a conservative. She subscribes to Christianity, but I'm not really truly sure if she's truly, truly consecrated to God. She might be. There's nothing of her that says that she's not really saved. I can't say she's not bearing fruit, but she is more political than she is religious. That is Candace Owens. However, Russell Brand is not religious, at least not in the sense that we understand. He's quite spiritual. He has funny things that he does that are spiritual, but he is not a Christian. And he has got a whole bunch of people in his channel that are irreligious, atheistic, etc. that watch him. And his audience, as at the last time I checked, Russell Brand had a million views on that Ecto Live video. He also put it up later than other people. So for him to get a million views after everybody else has done this video suggests that this is a man that has great influence, right? Um, Russell Brand's audience is largely not religious or Christian. I mean, he has me as a subscriber. I am super Christian. However, a lot of his uh, followers aren't. So if Russell Brand is not coming in the name of Jesus, then you can trust that his audience likely also much of it is not listening to him for the purpose of religion. Meaning that his audience, that those 1 million people, perhaps 500,000, 600, 700,000 of them that watched that video um, might be atheists. Let's just use atheism very blanket wise to speak as somebody who does not subscribe to Christianity, right? Uh, so if those 600,000 people think that Ecto Life thing is a disaster, those are 600,000 pe people that have not proverbially knelt to Baal. They have not agreed that this is okay. The world is not yet so loco, so crazy, so far gone that it would think this is okay. People who are not yet born again in the Lord Jesus Christ, it is not all of them that are like just swept away by the tsunami of the red ridiculous transhumanistic agenda of the planet of the planet of global elites there are enough people for the lord to stay his hand on the ground albeit them not being religious because for as long as you can still think rationally you can still think rationally about the cross of christ meaning you can still be saved and so the lord would stay his hand if there were 50 people in sodom that are not um sodomites yeah, can you say, yeah, you get my point. Do you understand what I'm saying, you guys? Right? So that's just on the Ecto Life thingy, my Bobby, on its own. The whole story of Ecto Life. We then, let's move on to, for instance, in the United States, there is this ridiculous incendiary, frankly, it is burning people alive agenda called the woke agenda. It is extreme, right? Uh, but you know how it is that the, 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 the American population, much of it is receiving the woke agenda, even people that belong to the liberal side 
some of them believe that the woke agenda is like a fashion show. Have you seen some of the things on runways, guys? Goodness gracious, who goes to the mall wearing a, like something looking like a peacock feather? And just that alone. Or something that looks like a waterfall that is taking up literally three meters in radius of space as you walk. So people have got to be far away from you just so your dress can fit. And so just so you you can move with all of your dress not being trampled on by other people's feet. There are people who wear funny little shaped uh, what do you call this like horns on the runway there was a time when lady gaga not so much on the runway but uh at a red carpet show of sorts wore uh, uh, a shoe that looked like it was a goat's hoof it was ridiculous okay it was just, it was hilarious it was funny but she wore something like that and her whole outfit she needed to have an entourage around her just to keep it like in a bunch and just so she doesn't fall that is not something you wear to the mall and that is not something that you would even wear at your matric dance do you understand most people look at it as these people are eccentric and bizarre what they wear is worthy for us to come and watch because it's funny it's eccentric it's over the top but it stays in the eccentric over the top babylonic environment called hollywood they're the crazy ones that wear funny stuff that also barely wear anything at all just covering their nipples with a little plug and the rest of the body has feathers like your adam and eve after falling just cover your loin area and that's it okay and everything else is exposed whereas you would not go to your matric dance like that you would not go to the mall like that yes the world is becoming increasingly scantily clad they're wearing less and less but hardly ever are you going to find the level of nudity that you see on the red carpet at a, at a mall not even at a club for crying out loud even when girls and guys go to the club there are more modest than what you find on social media on also on like red carpets and all these other places it is considered eccentric over the top and of course the kind of stuff that celebrities do to get attention and for people to look at them much of the world some of the world of uh, belonging to the woke far left agenda or extreme or some of the people who would vote democrat in the united states of america look at many of the decisions of the democrats like an eccentric outfit on the red carpet it is too extreme it is too far gone and while i subscribe to your lifestyle as a celebrity for the better part you are flashy and ornate and i like all things that shine that over there is not something i'm about to let my 18 year old kid wear at the matric dance so if she comes to me and says mama i want to put plugs on my breast and a leaf on my like lady parts for the matric dance and two leaves on my butt cheeks and that's it mama would be like i'm sorry you and your influence via jennifer lopez or whoever you're not doing that not under my roof so that is what i'm trying to help you guys understand the woke agenda the politicians of this world are starting to want to be like celebrities you guys they want the the clout of celebrities in a way that politicians historically just have not had that clout like for instance i know more celebrities in this country and by name surname and even where they live in their backyard what kind of cat color they've got than i know names of actual politicians albeit being interested in the news i know more about celebrities than i know about politicians they're not that interesting in comparison to celebrities so therefore uh because uh politicians want to gain more clout for themselves they're starting to covet the reputations of celebrities and the popularity and the spectacularity of celebrities to a point of being as eccentric and as extreme as celebrities in their policy decisions and they're losing sight of the fact that celebrities are supposed to be there for fun and entertainment whereas policy decisions affect an entire nation's strategy and where they're going but they are blurring the lines and so politicians are trying to become like celebrities and as a result of wanting to become like celebrities are being becoming extremists in their flamboyant activity before cameras thinking it's the red carpet that is the last days but as a result of their flamboyant activity that is eccentric as well the world is like my goodness what in the world is Cyril Ramaphosa doing what in the world is Joe Biden doing what in the world is Zelensky doing whose wife has purchased a 40,000 person in Paris despite there being a war in the country what is you know they are trying to become celebrities because they want the clout of celebrities however they are irresponsibly unable to recognize that the world at large don't take celebrities even that seriously because they are obviously freaking extreme next part